I found a thing. It's an easy one. So yeah, I'm just uh, in this little area. Yippee. I uh, actually went away for quite a few hours, so I'm a little discombobulated. I think we can pretty much just move on now. Kind of weird that when you go to that um, that one area, like the music just cancels out. Oh, there's a that's pretty uh, standout-ish. I like it. Another prize study for the collection. Uh, yeah, that explains this room. It didn't really have anything otherwise. I like how it destroyed that barrel through the wall. has it that only the most seasoned of sailors may find the secret hideaways in the swamp. Alright, talking to you restarts the music, okay. That's, that's random. That's an easy one. What is you in my pocket? So it's like all the all the extra things we miss involve just the super ground pound. Just, that's just that's just really lazy. Yeah. This is definitely my least favorite level. But the repetitive lines were annoying, the um the the, uh, the secrets are all just super ground pound, and boom, there's your coin. Or like, at least the ones that involve backtracking secrets. Still 
not really a bad level though. It's, a, it's, a, it's got a, real, a lot of really cool setups. And I like that little secret where he found the singing flump. Oh, and this uh, music puzzle that was over here, that was really good. Wow, that guy's got a pretty wide hitbox. I wasn't anywhere near him and I set him off. We never found, like, the gold spatula in Glove World, I'm pretty sure. Is that just gonna shoot me back? Hmm. Yes, let's not hit that just yet. I think that actually will shoot me back. Oh yeah, yeah, there's this whole area. Okay, good. It's right there. Perfect. So this area is just like its own checkpoint, isn't it? Yeah, this is the Shipwreck Treasure Zone. Um... Okay, we're just gonna assume nothing else is there and just go on to the town area. Cause like, this was a really big area. They're bound to hide the last coin here. I don't remember if there's, uh... Ugh! We gotta put up with this again. <laughs> Get through here the normal way now.
creatures are just really finicky. Alright, there's the last coin. Nice. I got everything up here, because I don't remember if there are any other challenges up here. Uh, yeah, and that's what I feel like doing, because that's stupid. What? Alright, it's because I'm stuck in like mid-air or something. Well, since I got warped back up here anyway, I guess we'll just try to keep going. Okay, I'm just assuming the rooftops are good. Let's just keep going along this route. Wait, wait, now I remember. Wait. Okay, we're gonna go back here. So I remember something that's up at the top of it that uh, tilting ship section. to explore that little area. I really don't remember getting to explore over there. Like, that made me think we were going to climb that tower, but we just got launched to the top of it anyway. No, that was just a stupid treasure chest. Which we can recollect for some reason, even though it did absolutely nothing. Stupid. Whatever. Well, that was honestly my only idea.
Is there a chance we can ride a rock around the water? Cause that almost looks like we can do that. Like, to get over to the, where that tower is, and stuff. Okay, this is what sends us all the way back here. I'm not gonna worry about it now. So we're gonna go back here because I looked up where the last coin is to the karate level. Over here. Yeah, yeah, I just did not notice that switch on top of the thing here. This should be pretty fun. Went, but we got it! And uh, the last coin in this level is in the garden maze. It's like a different reef blower challenge, apparently. Okay, uh, how I missed this is beyond me. I have no excuse. This thing is so good! So no wonder they saved this power for last. It's just the best one. Now we gotta fight you again, of course we do. Oh, I was afraid the camera would cause me to miss. shooting at me. Okay, I think the game is just bugged now. Yeah, this 
game is not programmed that well. It's just sad. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, you, you're kidding me. Wow, this is, this is, this is, this is very shitty. That is very bad programming! We need to prioritize killing this guy first. Perfect! Now he shouldn't get soft locked anymore. Yeah, yeah, about it was only a matter of time until I got the reflow reward. All right. Well, now we just have to make our next trip around, or our final trip around Wild Westland. We should find some and look up where that. For our dear old There's got to be a side quest for Glove World. That's what I'm waiting for. Only to find that life goes on even after corralling the red handed bandit. A little dabble to me. I like how he has the, uh, the western costume in the cutscene. Get your juice in, man. A little dabble to me. Oh, that explains why this little section is here. It all comes together. First new ability I didn't have. <laughs> oh, now the rings are spinning. Thank you. 
here's a fairly big area. Okay, I see the drink right there. Perfect. <laughs> and there's the ability thing! Even better! I'm gonna have to scatter this area along. Alright. Uh, I love the surfboard sections. Some nice, simple, gliding fun. Quite a lengthy one, too. Nice. Man, we are going far. That was awesome! That was so good. We can just skip this area, because we already found the drink and the, uh, the secret over there. area is really complicated. Not looking forward to re-exploring it. Ah! 
Ah, no, we, no, 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 we cannot backtrack along the, uh, the horse course. Talking skulls. Oh, I miss the talking skulls. <laughs> so random. Aha! So that explains this area. A vain man will break his arm patting himself on the back. I didn't break my arm. Can I land on this little bump? Yeah! Speedrun strats and avoiding bad balance beam sections. I, I really don't like the, the little balance beam moments. Like, there's no, not even any danger to it. It just locks you onto the, onto the balance beam. You can't walk off, you can't jump off. So, they're really more of a nuisance than they are interesting. All right, jellyfish hunter. Oh yeah, I killed a bunch of jellyfish, baby. So this one won't talk to me, but this one will. Oh, don't listen to him. He lost his mind. Yeah, I remember that. Who's the guy who lost his mind ages ago? Was it this one? Which one is he talking? Like, where's the other guy who would say that? Well, I made it. Yippee. Ooh, more jelly. <laughs> you don't live longer in... I think the the music canceled out for a minute until I talked to that guy. That's weird. Another another weird glitch. This game has a lot of weird glitches. What? What were you trying to point out, Patrick? Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. We're just pointing out this general area. found the drink in this section, so I'm getting worried. What are the drinks we need to find? Okay, there's two more we're missing. Um... Oh! 
Oh, okay. Oh, glad I noticed that just in time before I moved on. Oh, and it has a drink. Oh, thank you, slingshot shimmering in the corner of my eye. Yahoo! Oh, we're finally going under this giant jellyfish statue. I thought for sure this would be like in the, uh, the, the, the main level. But that was actually the optional area. Nice. Finding things. The chandelier. Check it out, SpongeBob. That's a rootin' tootin' view. I'm feeling home on the range. So that's how we get up here. Oh, that is quite the roundabout trip, and I love it. All right. Well, with that, I'm just gonna fast travel to this area. So I'm certain the last drink is going to be in this. Uh, this perilous cliffside. Wow, we're not even close to it, so there's still quite a ways to go. <laughs> and... we are still missing three coins, jeez. Oh my god, I just backchecked for no reason. Okay, let's warp again. I guess I rotated the camera so much that I forgot which way the camera was actually facing before. Get another surfboard! Oh, I love this mechanic. Oh, long some kill rooms, nice. I went you early! <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? It's right there. I don't even have to redo the kill room, nice. You really are my best friend. I should have talked to you before I did it. Oh well. Too bad, kiddo. Might as well use the shortcut again, because why not? We can see if we miss any drinks from up, 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 up above. <laughs> it's literally right here. Thank you, shortcut. All right, takes care of that collectible. Now it's just two more coins we're missing. Ugh.
Speedrun strat. Yeah, there's really no point to that, we could, could have just come that way. Yeah. There's no reason to bother with the balance beams. Let me just look back there, I don't see anything. There's also this weird thing that's just under the water. That still looks suspicious, but it doesn't seem to do anything. to be up here. They could have easily hit a drink up here. Just point that they didn't. Uh, don't pay any yeah. 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 So what was that other one? Why, why can't we talk to this? I can't- we talk to these ones on top anymore! Poor guys. Mm. Well, I do not know those last two, uh, coins are. So you already got the one in the bullworm cave, or the, the not bullworm cave, I should say. <laughs> a soft fade. I already did. So what could I be missing? Sticky sweet. Would I possibly get something for cleaning all these out? Thank you. 
not seeming to. Could be something else. I don't know. I was second guessing myself at this point. can't go inside the inn, right? Would be cool if we can just go into each of these each of these buildings. Do you feel like we're being I always bet on the wrong guy. Did you hear? The mollusks are coming. Okay. Random. There's something in here that we could miss. Will you bribe me with a coin? <laughs> That's pretty clever. Turn these side quests. Then we'll probably get one for Glove World. in the whole world. If the world is so wide, I'm sure you can pick a new friend. I'm rich! Let's get through the fun play. little chum got me worried sick. Don't you do that to me again, ever. Us. Yes, yes. <laughs> Us. <laughs> What? Wait a minute. Who's a good boy? Thanks, Plankton. I was talking to Spot, you inflated idiot. Okay. It's like, 
That that correct line was voiced by Karen, but it still had Plankton's label. Who's a good boy? Oh. I was talking. Who's a good boy? Too bad we can't bring it up again. I caught that. I caught that little error. Why do you write Penny with an I E? Where's Harry that night? That's how I feel about some of these collectibles I can't find. Ugh. That takes care of that hazard. Oh, look at this kid with a snail on him. Alright! Sweet! It was so cool how uh, the whole town was like. Yeah. Let's just slot to Cassandra now and see what happens. Probably the part where she turns evil. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants, this time you took things too far. Well, well, well. His royal hiney finally decided to show up. This snail oil saleswoman broke into my royal bath time chamber and stole my bubble soap. She never posed any real danger, but your capital attitude enabled her. Do you have any idea how much power she'll wield once she has enough jelly? Silence! I am now the queen of the ocean, and with the power of the cosmic jelly, I will reshape the seas according to my wishes. <laughs> Spongebob, I have tolerated your annoying little slip-up for years now, but I have had... Because of you, I have been kidnapped, I had to relearn to speak, and my toilet is clogged with jelly. Enough is enough! You know what? It's not that bad. I'll just get the plunger. You're going nowhere, my delicious little rage muffin. You have the perfect attitude to be my new pet. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Did not expect this. <laughs> All right, uh, immediately to a new world. <laughs> yeah. This is it, Patrick. My wishes may have shaken up the world, but the god was the one who's gone out of control. It's time to stop it for good and save our friends once and for all. It is why I held on talking to Cassandra. I knew it would immediately jump us to the final boss. Yay! We get the best ability! So that's like a homing shot. That's pretty cool. You know what I... You know what I really didn't like about Luigi Ma Luigi's Mansion 3's final boss? It didn't have the uh, the Vortex Vacuum ability! I thought for sure you'd use the Vortex Vacuum as, as the final hit on King Boo, but it just wasn't used at all. That was really disappointing. This is also just like how the final boss of Spongebob movie was the, uh, bucket-headed Neptune. While Plankton was just flying around and watching. Today. 
Oh no, we have to watch out for multiple subways at once! It's too intense! This would be too hard for a kid to keep up with. Or any grown up who's bad at games. It's too much! I haven't taken a single hit yet. Oh, took a hit. I suck. Is that it? Local hero! As soon as I got the achievement, I knew that was the end of the fight. That better, that better not be it, though. It's like, final boss of Battle for Bikini Bottom, that was, that was awesome. Had great music, and it was, it was a nice half battle, half platformer kind of level. Spongebob movie had an epic final boss. Even Truth or Square had a pretty good final boss. And, uh, Creature from the Krusty Krab. Oh, the, that whole Megaplankton, so uh, section. That was really epic. And... A lot of phases. Like jelly. But this game? I have to hand it to you that, that was a, this is terrible! A that was a terrible you final boss! Of course, you also empowered her to nearly destroy us all, but that's Jerry <laughs> under the bridge now. Yeah, they really didn't spend much budget on the boss fights. As a reward for your outstanding bravery, I shall grant you one final wish, so make it count. I wish there were little people. After today, there's only one thing I can wish for. I wish half the population is... could be tiny. That was fun! I wish we could do it! <laughs> 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 you know, that's... I mean, yeah, I love to play the Spongebob movie over and over. Oh, oh, it's this song, nice! Yeah, the previous games never had good credits music, but I like this song. Probably copyrighted, so I should talk. Um, so yeah. Uh, ah. Battle for Bikini Bottom and SpongeBob movie, probably kind of better. Uh, they had, I'm pretty sure they had more levels. Um, and the, the mechanics were smoother. These mechanics, like, a lot of the controls here just felt a lot of really buggy. And the boss fights were definitely better. I think... Okay, I think Spongebob Movie only had six... Like, six main levels. Um, and then there's the sliding and vehicle levels. Which is still more than this, honestly. And, and that include And also the, uh, the tutorial level at the beginning. If you count that as the seventh one, which... Yeah, I barely do. If anything, that's equivalent to the hub world. And of course, uh, Bikini Bottom had uh, ten worlds, including the hub world. This game just has um, eight worlds, including hub. It was, uh... This is still really good, though. I love the, the different abilities, the mechanics, and the uh, optional challenges really uh, capture the spirit of the um, the previous games. I should check out a Let's Play for um, Fly the Flying Dutchman game, because I can never finish, I couldn't finish that one because the, the game, the disc was broken. And I think, uh, I think it also felt a little tedious to me anyway. I kind of, I still kind of enjoyed what I played of it though, so I should check out a Let's Play of it or something.
can never... I never really remember, like, the Flying Dutchman game was technically the first Spongebob game before Battle for Bikini Bottom, but, like, Bikini Bottom was just way better. <laughs> Truthers... I never... Truthers Square was good. I didn't really get attached to it. I kind of... I feel bad for... I don't know why I deleted my Let's Play of it. I think I was just going through depression at the time, and I just did it for no reason. Like... I remember not liking how that game was really linear and straightforward, with not, not really any collect-a-fun elements. Of course, there were those side challenges you could only do after you beat the levels, but I didn't think those were pretty very interesting. It had good bosses, though. Creature for the Krusty Krab is also pretty good. Had a had a fair amount of variety and uh, funny ideas, but I remember the levels was kind of dragging on too long, and there wasn't even that much com like a collect the bond business. There's like the two hidden things in each level. So, yeah, this game is definitely in the top three for SpongeBob games. Oh, oh, it's the jellyfish music! Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. You can definitely uh, praise this game for having good credits music. Roger Bumpus! Squidward, he's still at it. Dee Bradley Baker, he's still in action. <laughs> I remember in Truth or Square, you get, you get an achievement for sitting through the credits. So, we're gonna see if we get one here. We also get an achievement for letting Spongebob stand around too long until he grows old and dies in a grave. <laughs> you get an achievement for that. That was awesome. It was like the best idle animation of any video game. Unlike Breath of the Wild, which has no idle animations. Except if you have Link crouch, like crouched for long enough, he'll like have a bug on his hand and shake it off. But dude, that's just that's nothing. Because Breath of the Wild just it's it just isn't fun. It's not imaginative. They just wanted to have a big open world with flawless physics and just not have any of the the joy that comes from most video games. I really hope uh, Tears of the Kingdom does better. So I'm definitely gonna feel compelled to complete every inch of that game because that's just how I am. <laughs> this is simply a, a welcome surprise from Nickelodeon. Just hit me right out of nowhere. New SpongeBob game. It's just like the the first first two that you really like. And I downloaded it at that exact moment. That exact minute. And here we are. I'm glad it didn't really last that long, because I want to get back to my story. Uh, eventually, I'll look up how to get the last collectibles. I'm not going to prioritize it at the moment. Okay, you're just gonna cycle back to this song. Well, if there's an achievement. Loading screen later. <laughs> <laughs> if there's an achievement, we're not gonna get it. I don't have time for that. If nothing else, glad that SpongeBob game finally did that. Tentacle Dodger. Cool. All right, save bikini body mission complete. Uh. Actually, no. There's not going to be a side quest for Glove World because we got all the coins here. Hmm. All right. 
So let's look. Uh, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Hundred percent. So we're missing one coin here and two whole coins here. I do not know how. Hmm. It's probably in the really complex sections. But uh, I'll look up how to get these, and once I do, we will be done with this game. So bye.